Awesome. That was so cool. I love that little guy. gassing up because I didn't do it yet last night. We're out of practice on this thing. We are um, headed for our third annual bog adventure. Um, this has become a little bit of a tradition on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Car says it is negative four degrees this morning. I was thinking this morning about uh, what exactly it's like to pee in an outhouse in the winter and then what it will be like to pee in an outhouse in the winter at negative five. negative five below zero. We are in the coldest snap that we've had all winter for sure. It is very cold right now. And like good Minnesotans, when it hits negative degrees, we don't stay inside. No, we don't. We go north. We go north. It's true. We're headed to Cromwell to meet up with a guest explorer friend. Darren's sister Denise is coming with us today with her gigantic wildlife lens. Okay, now this is the part where I have to relocate and move and switch and all the things. Welcome all right. to the bog, friends. Yay, here we are. The evening gross peaks are definitely out here at the Zabin. Some black capped chickadees, a blue jay that is getting chased away, which is not normally what you see, right? Denise, let me see that camera. What do you call it? The beast. The beast. It is a beast, isn't it? That's awesome. Yeah, it is cold out there, right? Yes. And I agree, it's hard to shoot with gloves on. We did have a very early morning. So Mary Lou's did not disappoint. Uh, mostly the usual birds, blue jay, uh, European starling, um, what else, uh, house sparrow. Um, we also saw downy woodpeckers, and those are pretty common, but one of the things I think I got on video is of one of the downies actually moving the bark away and finding some insect larvae or eggs, uh, and so that was pretty cool. I love watching and observing the behavior of any kind of animal, even the common ones that we see a lot. So we're at the Admiral Road Feeders, mm -hmm. and two different times we've gotten really poor pictures of Oriel chickadees. Mm -hmm. So there were some guys taking photos, really close up actually. So I got out of the car, and I walked over, and he said Oriel chickadee. And as he said it, it came in and sat at eye level. I got it in my duck binoculars, I looked at it, I was like, absolutely. So I quickly walked back to the car where De Denise and Aaron are. I said, hey, I love shots of boreal chickadee. It's really close. So they hurry out. He flitted around out of sight and then disappeared mm -hmm. for like 10 minutes. So then Aaron's like, I'm bad luck. These guys don't like me. So she goes back into the car. Guess what came back? Another seven to 10 minutes. Guess what? Boreal chickadee. So I think I got a decent shot of him, didn't I? You, you looked at it. I didn't really look at him at my shots because we're still pursuing other birds. There's some Canada Jay here. There's some 
more more chickadees and you know i think chickadees in good light are always fun to shoot right and they're just friendly birds they're photogenic i think even though they're mostly black and white they're cute some um red pulse it's a blue jay here so you know nothing like uber exotic but um on a cold day like this it's it's still fun it's i think it's fun to get almost any bird so we were just at the visitor center and we forgot to take you with us. I'm sorry. What they told us at the visitor center, things that you can only learn at the visitor center, what did they tell us that we could find, Darren? A northern hawk owl. A northern hawk owl. And they hunt during the day, which means we have a shot at finding it. Okay, friends. We found him. Let's see if I can find him for you. He is right there at the top of that tallest tree. Okay, we'll show you a picture of him now. Awesome. Oh, it's mine. Oh no. Oh, he's hunting. Go, buddy, go. Find yourself some food. So, are we all hopping in to chase him? Maybe. So this is a little bit what it's like. You just gotta be opportunistic. So these guys are looking right here because our friend is right up there. And he moved a little bit from across the road and he put himself in perfect lighting. So everybody got excited when he did that because he gave us some good angles. That was so cool. Right? That was cool. Going from the back side to the front. I love that little guy. He's so angry. He's the angriest puppy. Angry <laughs> he bird. looks just like an angry bird. We're gonna whip a Yui and we're gonna go find a place to have some lunch by a bird feeder. So that. I do. And also, <laughs> Darren wants to see the owl again. I said, are you so excited? I am. I, I do. I love owls. And I saw. Shy guys. So yes, it is a super nice walk. It is really cold out today. What is the temperature right now? 
One degree. Woo. We are over zero, baby. So that was the Warren Wussner yeah, Memorial Boardwalk, which we really like. It's not very long, but it's nice. And if it was like 20 degrees warmer, we could have been out there for a while. I think part of the reason I like that one so much is it's the first one we did when we came here the first time. I thought you were gonna say that, yep. Change plans. Because, what did you say, Denise? This might, it's a once in a lifetime thing to see a great gray. So we uh, are working our way back up to take one more pass through all of the great gray habitat to see what we can see. I might have more news to share. We shall see. We gave it one last hurrah. And we got skunked. But we did not get skunked today. It was a fun way to spend the day. It was really cold. Did I say it was cold? It was really cold. I'm not kidding. But it's a beautiful place, and it was sunny today and bright outside, and it was nice to be out of our house. It is easy during these months when it gets really cold to get cabin, get cabin fever from being stuck inside. So it was really nice to be out. And now we are headed, we are headed toward home. Until next time. Good morning. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Actually, I'm gonna take this off for a second. There. Whew. He doesn't wait until I can talk to you before he starts saying stuff. So I love owls, and owls love me. People parking so kind of stupidly here, so I gotta think for a minute about what to do. Denise smelling her armpit or she got <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. I'm trying to see whether the light comes on. Yeah, so she's got electronic vests and she's got an electronic um, set of gloves. She's equipped. She looks like she's trying to breastfeed a baby. Because <laughs> it looks remarkably the same. 